Hey, this is Helal. In this video on mathematical economic series, we will solve a problem that was asked by a friend, Brancy Cavera, on YouTube comment box of this channel. The question is like this: Consider a monopolist who faces the following demand function. We have the demand function is Q is equal to 70 minus 0.5 P, where Q is the quantity, P is the price, and total cost function is given as that is T C is equal to 5 Q square plus 10 find market clearing price and quantity that means we have to find the equilibrium price and quantity determine optimal profit for the monopolist and also we have to determine the optimal profit okay so let's try to see how to solve this question so first of all we are being given we are being given here we are being given q is equal to q is equal to 70 minus 0.5 p okay this is our demand function first step uh, it will be uh, to find the inverse demand function okay finding inverse inverse demand function by inverse demand function we mean solving for q that means solving for sorry solving for price okay solving for p if we solve this for p we will get the inverse demand function okay how do we solve this for p so we have 0 uh, 0 0.5 uh, p p is equal to so if we transpose this will become uh, 70 minus q okay if we transpose this will become 70 minus q uh, my uh, marker is not getting clear here so let me use another one so if we solve for price so this is here uh, 0.5 can be written as 1 upon 2 p is equal to 70 minus q that means p is equal to if we transpose this term it will get uh, divided to each of these terms so we have and also it will get reciprocated so 70 it will become 70 into 2 minus 2q okay i am just uh, skipped one step here that means p is equal to 140 minus 2q this is our inverse demand function now uh, to, uh, after that we need to find the total revenue total revenue is simply equal to price into quantity okay what is our price price function is being given let this be equation first okay so in place of p i can write this 140 uh, minus 2q and to this we multiply q okay this will be our total revenue okay after that we need to find marginal revenue marginal revenue is simply the derivative of total revenue with respect to quantity okay so that means we need to differentiate this very function with respect to q and if we solve it here first this will become 140 q minus 2q square okay so here it will become the derivative of q is 1 so we are left with 140 minus the derivative of q square is 2q so 2 into 2 is 4q here okay so this is our marginal revenue that means our marginal revenue is equal to 140 minus 4q okay this is our marginal revenue after that uh, what we need to do we need to find the marginal cost our total cost be is being given as 5 q square uh, plus 10 okay what is marginal cost marginal cost is simply the derivative of total cost with respect to quantity that is dq so if we differentiate this with respect to q so this two will become coefficient so two fives are 10 so we have 10 q plus the kosher point okay so this is our marginal cost now for a profit maximization first order condition first order condition for profit maximization requires requires that our marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost what is our marginal revenue this is our marginal revenue 140 minus 4q okay and we equate it with marginal cost that is 10 q plus 10 okay now if we transpose the terms so if we transpose this 10 here it will get it will become 140 minus 10 so this is 140 minus 10 is equal to 10 
uh, we have 10 q uh, 10 q plus 4 q did i uh, actually i have not done the derivative here correctly it is actually only 10 because 10 q because the derivative of 10 is uh, 0 which is the constant here so we have only this term here okay so equating this now if we uh, so this is 140 is equal to 10 q okay or 10 q is equal to 140 which implies q is equal to 140 upon 10 which comes out to be 14 that means our equilibrium quantity will be equilibrium quantity will be 40 uh, 14 what we call the market clearing quantity and what is our uh, equilibrium price just we need to put this q is equal to 14 in equation first to, to get the equilibrium price what is our first equation that is this p is equal to 140 minus uh, 2 in place of q we have 14 actually i have not done the correct calculation here so this will become 10 ones are rather i have done the calculation right here okay it is 14 here so we have 14 here okay so this comes out to be 140 minus 2 into 14 is 28 okay now if we subtract we have 10 minus 8 is 10 minus 8 is 2 uh, 3 minus 2 is 1 okay and we have 112 that means our equilibrium price will be equal to 112 okay i am i am sure i have done the calculations right here okay okay i have done the calculation right so this is our equilibrium price now what is our optimal profit that is total profit we know profit that is optimal profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost what is total revenue total revenue is equal to price into quantity what is our total cost function is this for you into q square uh, plus 10 okay rather minus 10 because we are subtracting this very thing so we have p uh, price is we got price is 112 so i will write here this is 112 and q is 14 so i will write here 14 minus for you the value of q is 14 square 14 square uh, minus 10 okay so uh, let me uh, do the calculation so which comes out to be uh, 112 into 14 it comes out to be 1 5 6 8 minus this 14 into 14 into 5 it will come out to be 980 minus 10 which comes out to be 5 78 okay that means our profit will be equal to this so let me write here that means our equilibrium price or market uh, clearing price so i will write here market clearing price is equal to 112 uh, market clearing quantity is equal to 14 and optimal profit optimal profit came out to be 578 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video if you like these videos please share and subscribe this channel with your economic friends that is only motivation for me keep going on thank you